What's going on, y'all? We are, that was a weak clap. Let's try it again. Good morning. It is early o'clock on this Sunday. Um, I've already done my fasted cardio, so it's just something I gotta do. The 30 minutes this morning, we're right under nine weeks out. Um, so I'm just gonna make my meal one real quick before I head to uh, get my hair cut. And then we're gonna actually film a workout at uh, Metroflex Fort Worth. Um, more about that later. So I'm excited about you know going back to see Randy and Christine. Um, but anyway, so let's make these eggs real quick. We're a little behind schedule, so I'm gonna just uh, make this. I'm gonna show you kind of how I do it. It's really nothing special, but you know I've always wanted to do kind of one of these you know meal one slash pre workout meals. So it's very basic bodybuilding style, whatever. Um, five egg whites, one whole egg but my clumsy ass tends to have maybe two whole eggs just because I'm a little heavy handed and sometimes the yolk slips, which I don't know why, but, and no, I don't do egg whites, uh, liquid carton. So, uh, five egg whites, one whole egg, um, I believe a cup of steel cut oats and um, I put a little bit of peanut butter, I think like a teaspoon, I think. Tablespoon, tablespoon, tablespoon of peanut butter, um, whey protein, and that's it. So it's really basic. So I think this is at the temperature we need it. So let's go ahead and start for the day. So. <laughs> about five shakes two three four five yes i like plenty of salt you need sodium especially this early um i like to stay hydrated and do a lot of sodium anyway pepper not so much maybe like two or three let's do three for the can and just a pinch of parsley boom that's it get to mixing Again, I know that people are gonna be like, you are breaking every rule right now, but it's, I don't care. I don't care, I honestly don't care. peanut butter I've been using um, better in peanut butter original only 2.5 grams, grams of fat 100 calories tastes okay um, just better macros just not loaded with all that crap and stuff in there uh, you want pe you know almond butters and peanut butters with the least amount of ingredients you really just want peanuts and um, like I said the least amount of ingredients the better comes can I say can we say that in 2022 I'm a bit anal anyway I'm a bit picky <laughs> when it comes to my oats um consistency no I don't do tap yes I'm extremely bougie it must be a gallon of fresh water and cold even though I'm putting it in the microwave but um very bougie when it comes to that all right so with me I tend to like mine a little bit soupy so Please save your eels for the end of the video. So as you notice, second, this is about to be watery AF, but that is exactly how I like it. So you mix as you pour. Does it make a difference? Absolutely not. This is what I'm doing. Okay. So the mixing. Mix, 
mix mix a little more I'm sure this is the point where you guys are like ew that's so disgusting why is he eating that is this what all bodybuilders do the answer is an astounding I don't even know alright so still cut you gotta put these in a micro a little longer so what should be like two three minutes like I put it in three minutes last time and then I had to put some more water. I'll do three minutes. Okay, I mean, it just burn the apartment down. No, I'm kidding. Now let's do three. Cue dramatic music. I train in the evenings and also work a full time job. So, you know, I'll still get up and do my cardio, but. I usually have about four or five meals um, before I train at night and usually my post-workout meal is my last meal of the day. Um, that's normally my routine. But usually on the weekends, um, you know, I'm either traveling because I'm also a musician, so that kind of changes how and when, if I train on the weekends, so the, you know, the rest days may be different just depending on if I'm traveling if it's an in-town gig or what's going on so but for today just because of the schedule <clears throat> um, meal one is also the pre-workout meal so all right let's see what that's looking like okay not ready just yet but that's okay Add some more water. As you can see, it is extremely soupy. And I don't know why I like it like this, but I just do. Guess I'm a weirdo. But not a weirdo. Alright. So that's that. I'm gonna finish this. Get my hair cut. Hopefully next time you see me, I'll be all nice and fresh and cleaner. And then we'll be Metric Flex Fort Worth. Well, I'll see, um, I believe Randy will be there. Christine may be there too. But uh, we do a little bit of chest training, maybe touching some triceps, um, get that on video. And then that's it, y'all. So right under nine weeks out, you know, approaching that actually eight and a half week mark. My weight is sitting at about 203. So we dropped two pounds, slightly getting tighter. Um, so things are moving. So we're just starting to, slowly drop some stuff i know coach is going to send me an updated plan any day now uh shout out to bobby farley and um that's it y'all so we got the olympia y'all i'm excited so like subscribe comment share all that good stuff get in the algorithm so um yeah next time you see me i'll be at metroflex so peace. what's going on y'all so as you see we got the fresh cut as you saw from the video earlier um cardio done meal one done i actually did meal two on the way here but uh just got the fresh cut so we're here i don't know if you see it the old stopping grounds metro flex um this is probably one of the first gyms i actually trained at back when i moved to texas uh in 06 around that time so i met randy christine two amazing people thank you for allowing me to train here and um this is where it's at man i was here like in the incubating phase when like half of this wasn't even here and just to see it blossom into what it is today is, is really, really cool. Just a testament of good people, good relationships, and a good atmosphere. So um, I'm excited to train here. We got some chest today, maybe a little bit of tricep, kind of like a push variation, but more chest. Um, feeling good, you know, a little tired, but, you know, we're still good. Muscle shaping in nicely. I dropped about two pounds, which so is cool. So we're at a 203 right now, so we're right under nine weeks, kind of like an eight and a half uh, week mark. So um, I'm excited. So I did half my cardio today, so I'm really just gonna train and probably just do the rest tonight. 
and uh, hopefully get some good content for you guys. So we got the whole setup. You know, we're, we're getting fancy over here, so I hope you guys can hear me well. And uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, put in the algorithm, and uh, I'll be sure to put some content out to you guys. So, hey. So, so hard to cheat. My love to I'm a little tight today for some reason. Not sure why. Normally this is gonna be a warm up, but my left side kind of feels more funny, so we'll see. My loved. Since it's still push day, we'll do some shoulder, a little bit of shoulder pressures, real quick. Just a tip on shoulder training. Um, stuff that I've seen a lot, kind of noticed a lot. Uh, just looking in the gym and seeing guys' physiques. They do so many presses, so many shoulder, military presses, behind the neck, uh, chest presses, thinking it's gonna cap off their delts. And they're wondering why they're kind of slunched over. They have pretty decent upper pecs, but no medial head, no rear delt. It's because they're emphasizing so much on this and they're really just taxing that front delt which gets worked so much during chest anyway. So uh, although we're focusing today on chest primarily, um, just a tip on shoulder training, try to do so much of the pressing movements, stick to more side laterals, a lot of wide grip movements, upright rows, a lot of isolating movements, reverse some cable work. Um, that'll really cap off the delts really nicely and give you that 3D look all the way to the uh, rear delt. So uh, if you're trying to build, if you are lacking, you know, on that front head, cool, do all the presses in the world. Um, I like it as kind of like a finisher. So like on my chest days, I might throw in a shoulder pressing and vice versa. But uh, that's what I've got my physique to where it is. A lot more side laterals, not so much on the pressing stuff. A lot of like cap work, isolation movements. Um, so hopefully you take that and roll with it. So hard to cheat. I just popped up. I don't think you see it from here, but literally, I'll do it again. Side, and then watch when I turn. Did you see that just pop out? It's literally putting the tension just on that front belt. And then from here, I'm just pushing straight up, and then keeping that elbow forward. Just that motion right here. So. My love. Well, I tell you, these pumps hit different when you got Metroflex. I tell you. I don't know, some, someone must be in the air or something, because this pump is stupid. So hot. Mr. Overall. Mr. Overall. Mr. Overall. Back to is, is that my new nickname? How are you? I'm good. Uh, Chris just killed me on mics. So oh, you did? Trying to pose my pose. That's the best time to pose. Uh, no, take your time. We're going to do a little posing whenever you're done. I'm going to pose. Yeah, take your time. I was loving here. You didn't even gotta ask. Just come up and video how you want to, man. Oh, cool. You know, I gotta show respect. It's yeah. been a while, so. I grew up here, man. So, yeah. I grew up here early, too. You gotta, don't feel gonna ask for anything, too. You don't feel gonna ask. I appreciate it, brother. Oh, oh, what are you asking for, man? It's great. Hey, it's, you know, <laughs> hey. Nah, bro. Your family always, bro. No matter All what. Right, Take care, man. All right, so we got a really special, really, really special picture. This is my very first time I did nationals. Um, I believe I was 19, that was 2009, I believe. I was a lightweight, and if I'm not mistaken, the cutoff was somewhere in the ballpark of like a buck 50, I think, something like that. I couldn't have been more than 150 pounds in that picture. Um, it was a cool time in my life. I mean, it was a time that like, right around the time I moved here, I met Randy, met Joe, met Jay, some of the trainers, kind of got in this circle. Um, I didn't know anything about supplements. I wasn't even on protein back there. I didn't nothing. I had no idea. I literally just came in the game with a bunch of discipline. I have a martial arts background, so when it comes to discipline, I was extremely strict. Also, being a musician, I have to be extremely strict and disciplined in order to progress. The bodybuilding was really no difference. It was a smooth transition. So when they told me to eat, I didn't know anything about nutrition. I didn't know. I barely knew anything about training. They just gave me a list and say, "Here, here's what you eat. Here's the time that you eat." And that's the um, pretty much the end result. So I didn't place. Back then, it was a lot more harder to turn pro. Uh, no disrespect to those trying to turn pro, but 
it was really, really way harder. They only had maybe like, there was no plastic physique with all bodybuilding. Um, really like three people to a pro a year. Uh, three, four people. I mean, this, this is way back in the day before they had like a show every weekend. So, um, really humbling time because the first time I actually transitioned into the national stage and uh, I didn't even place in the top. I didn't even come. I didn't even pose um, for the finals. So, that's to tell you back then. So, um, really humbling moment, but I'm very proud of it. It's really good to kind of come here and look and see where I came from and see where I'm at now. So, you're really appreciative because, you know, I hope that I get a chance to see this video and my physique right now and I'll be in a much better position to kind of look at this and have the same feeling I'm having right now. So, uh, hope you guys hear any of that that I just said. But anyway, it's a really humbling moment. Again, thank you, Randy. Thank you, Christine, for allowing me to train here, my old stopping grounds. Um, so, before I lose my voice, you know, I'm trying to compete with the music. Like, subscribe, share, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your baby mama. We're going to have some YouTube content all the way up to the Olympia. We are right after that week's out. I'm excited. And uh, take care, guys. I'll put you a little bicep before we leave.